Ladies and gentlemen, from Redding, California, this is your friend, the chemistry class. Yo, 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 yo. Thank you. It's good to see you. I miss you. Number one, unique atom goes in center. That's the unit atom, nitrogen. The other atoms, we have more than one, they go on three sides. I have three atoms, they go three sides, yes? If I had four atoms, they would have gone on four different sides. Then, next step, count number of electrons, total valence electrons, five coming from nitrogen, seven coming from fluorine, group 7A. We have three fluorine, so can I say, three fluorine, three times seven, one nitrogen, five, they add up to be 26 valence electrons, yes or no? Okay, next, what do I do? If you want to make a molecule, they have to make a bond. So, place covalent bond to connect the atoms together. Every covalent bond, how many electrons? Two. Two shared electrons. Next step, help me. Next step. Next step, yes. Yes, complete the octet number. Yes. Six on each fluorine. Two on nitrogen, before, after. Before, after. Yes or no? Okay. And then, does nitrogen have complete octet now? Six plus two, eight. This fluorine is complete octet, this fluorine, and this fluorine. Yes or no? So can I say, let's count. Number of electrons in the structure. Is it equal to total number of valence electrons which was brought in by all four atoms? Yes, I have got three covalent bond, each covalent bond, two electrons. I have 10 electrons per C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 10 times two is 20, 26. Atoms brought in 26 electrons. 20 six valence electrons, and now they have used all of those in making a bond, and all atoms are happy because they all have eight electrons. Does this make sense to you? Do you have any question, guys? Any question? Yes, yes, uh, it's, it's Jerian. Yes, Jerian. Yes. Where does the three come from? This three? Yes. We have three atoms of fluorine. Oh. Every atom of fluorine is bringing seven electrons. Okay. So total is 21 valence electrons coming from fluorine. Got it? Yes. I like that spark which comes into your brain and all of a sudden your face is shining. I enjoy that. Good job, Austin. <laughs> really? A light comes up. And you see things that never saw before. That's the thing about science. It opens new vision to you. You do, you do things deeply and differently. Okay, guys, I haven't discussed the shape of this compound, but later on I'll show you how to predict the shape. You'll see the shape is pyramidal. Does it matter for molecules? What they look like, yes, that defines their chemistry and physical property. The shape is very important. We'll discuss that later. Okay, so now I wanna do another example. I wanna do another example. This example is about carbon dioxide. I beg your pardon, it's about carbonate ion. Carbonate ion, oh. Carbonate ion has a negative two charge. How do I know the charge of carbonate is negative two? How would you know? What page of the book is telling you the charge of carbonate? Carbon goes in center. It's the unique atom. Three oxygens on the side. And then we count a total number of valence electrons, four coming from carbon. Three oxygens, each bringing six. Two negative charges, we add two for two negative charges, and total 24 electrons. Then we connect the atoms together by single bond, and we try to complete the octet. And we counted number of electrons. Carbon has eight electrons, oxygen has eight electrons. This oxygen has eight electrons, this oxygen has eight electrons. 
So it checks how many electrons we use. We counted, you're 26. We are two, two electrons over what atoms have brought in. So what do I do when you're using too many electrons, you add a double bond? Too many electrons, add a double bond. I, do you see, look at the difference. Why double bond helps? Why double bond helps? I take four electrons. When they share them, you only need only two. So you're saving two electrons. Every time you add one bond, one extra bond, you're sh saving two electrons. And Sadie, and Sadie, you wouldn't believe this. Carbon and Adam understand this very well. They know what to do. They know what makes them happy. Santana. That's the reality of the structure of this compound. It's neither this, nor this, nor this. It doesn't have long bonds and short bonds. It has so something on, in it. So on, like, on the test, how would you want us to write it? So on the far right, the hybrid? You will, uh, on test, you, have, you don't have to write anything, because you have multiple choice. So we'll give you these structures, not to worry. Yes? What's the negative two on the yeah. far right there? That, what is it representing in that? Those it's, it's, there is negative two charge over the whole molecule. Over the whole thing? Yes. So guys, this is using 24. We brought in 24. We use 24 to complete the octet. And that means that's the correct structure. Do you have any question on this? Does this make sense? OK. Thank you, Holly. Thank you for saying yeah. Somebody said yeah, there. I thought it was you. Yes, that's way. Go. How does carbonate ions form? Carbon ions? Or carbonate ions. Oh, as I mentioned, yes. if you look, look at these structures, the two electrons are coming from sodium. Sodium electron donor. So, they, so literally, it comes with carbon, oxygen, and sodium. It, those ions. <laughs> well, not exactly like that. If you uh, burn a carbon containing substance with oxygen, it makes carbon dioxide. If you right. bubble the carbon dioxide inside, let's say, potassium hydroxide, it's going to make carbonate. The, the reason I ask is because carbon dioxide seems like a stable form. Why would it, why would it willingly Because you are reacting it with extremely reactive agents like hydroxide. Okay. Okay. That's how you do it. Right. OK, carbon dioxide is stable. Hydroxide is not. You put them together and say, I want to get a stable. I attack carbon double bond. It opens a double bond. It's all about partnership, right? You could be very unhappy, have a partner which makes you very happy. You could be happy and have a partner which runs you crazy. So it's give and take between two reagents. 